Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how we have created this education dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is the overview page of this education dashboard and we are showing the high level summary here like average attendance percentage for all process and the average assignment score, average final exam score, average GPA and the pass percentage. Then we are showing here student count by department and this is the average final exam score by top 7 students. And here we are showing the student count by course. On the left hand side we have given a slicer and on the right hand side also we have given a slicer panel. Here you can see all by the gender like for the female and for the male then whole page will be filtered or you want to see for a particular department then you can click and you can see the total scores available on the top for the department or by the course also you can see that and even you can see the by semester also okay and here you can select the instructor name or the student name also if you want to see the information for a particular student also now just click on the top navigation pen so here you can just go to the academic performance just click here so it will take you to the academic performance page and we are showing here the same slicers as well as we are showing some information like average final exam score by the department and here average gpa by the course average assignment score by top seven students to filter the data like by male female or by semester as you want then we are showing the attendance analysis also here in the attendance analysis uh, we are showing the attendance by the department attendance by the different courses and average attendance percentage by the instructor then we are showing the departmental uh, insights and just click here and we are showing here pass percentage by the department and average GPA by the department as well as assign average assignment score by the department. And you can again filter if you want to see by semester then you can simply select uh, click here and you can see that or you can select the uh, male or female also to see the gender wise information also. Then we can go to the instructor performance to see the instructor level uh, analysis. We are showing here pass percentage by the instructor so we can see how uh, which instructor is uh, performing well as well as we are showing the average final score and we are showing the average GPA by the instructor also. You can slice or dice the data using the slicers. Now I will show you the data and the other sheets also which we have created and how we have created this dashboard. First of all let's go to the file and then go to the options. Here just go to the advanced and scroll it down. Click on show sheet tab. So you can see all of the sheets which are available here and you can go to the sheets also then we have a data sheet so let me explain the data sheet here we have the id then we have the student name gender age department course then this is the semester attendance percentage assignment score midterm score final exam score gpa pass or fail and then we have the instructor name we have created two calculations also to get the count of pass and fail and here we have used the normal formula like if this column is pass then we are showing here 1 otherwise 0 and similarly in the fail column we are showing if this is fail then 1 otherwise 0 ok so we can get the count of pass or count, count of fail easily. In the support sheet what we have done we have created the pivot table from this table this is the table you can see in the table design the name is table is data. So we have created the multiple tables here and we have put this one vertical line also just to identify these all pivot tables are for the overview page. So these all are for the overview page. Then these all pivot tables are for the academic performance. Then here we are putting for all for the attendance analysis. Then these are for the departmental insights then these all are for the instructor performance ok so for every page we have created separate pivot tables here and then on the basis of the pivot table we have created the chart 
so let me show you how we have created the pivot table to create the pivot table you can just click anywhere on this table go to the table design and just say summarize with pivot table click on ok and now here you can create the pivot table as you want for example I want to show the student count so I can take the ID here and just put here so it is taking the count of ID you can just click here and select the count from here and ok so it will take the ID count then you can make the copy of this pivot table and you can paste here and the next time you can take the some other KPI like I am taking the attendance percentage here and remove the ID from here so it is taking sum of attendance percentage just double click and take here average and the number format you can take the two decimal or one decimal as you want click on ok and ok so we are showing the average attendance percentage similarly you can create the other pivot tables also if you want to learn more about the pivot table dashboard and the charts you can join our udemy course the link is given in the video's description box so you can see how we can create this type of beautiful charts and how we can connect with the slicers also as well as how we can create the custom slicer you can learn everything in our course we have given all the practice file so uh, you can download the practice file and you can learn with me how you can create this type of dashboards after creating the pivot table we have created the charts so let me create one more pivot table for average attendance let's say i'm taking department wise attendance here so we have created the cards here on the overview so what we have done we have created a text box and that is connected with the support sheet from here okay so how you can connect that let me show you let's say i have another sheet here and if i insert a text box from here just insert a text box and drag that text box here then you can click on the border of this text box go to the formula bar press equal to and then you can select that number let's say i'm selecting this one and just hit the enter so it will show you that number and if you change that number from here then this number also will be changed you can format this as per your requirement let's say i'm taking this color here i don't want to take the outline so just remove the outline don't take the safe fill just say no fill and remove the grid lines from here and if you want to create one outer rectangle you can create that one also so let's say i'm creating this one and just right click and send to back in the rectangle you can fill white color save fill white fill and outline you can take let's say this outline and you can take line weight this one so that is how we have created the cards here in this and uh, after that you can insert the slicers also so i will show you that one also first let me show you how you can create the chart so let's click anywhere uh, on this pivot we want to create the chart for using this pivot so just select insert insert a chart so let's say i want to insert this column chart so chart is uh, inserted here now just click anywhere on the chart go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and just say hide all we can remove the legend from here and just add the data labels now let's cut this chart press ctrl x and then you can move to the your main sheet so let's say i am moving this here now you can format the chart let's say i am selecting the uh, bar and i am selecting the column and i am changing the color let's say this one then just use the gradient and let's say this one then if you want to keep the uh, grid lines you can keep otherwise you can uncheck this and make the data labels black and bold similarly here also and here also so this is attendance percentage by department now if you want to connect this chart and this card with some slicer so what you can do you can just come to this and select any pivot go to the insert and you can insert a slicer insert this slicer let's say i want to insert the gender slicer and you can take the other one also let's say i'm taking course slicer 
Now let's select these slicer, press Ctrl X to cut them and come to the main sheet and paste that here. Let's keep this here and here also. Now if I click then you can see the chart is getting changed but this uh, number is not getting changed. So what you can do, you can just uh, connect, uh, this is from the A4 right. So A4 is this one. So you can just go to the pivot uh, table analyze. This is pivot table 1 and this is pivot table 3. So now what we can do, just right click here and go to the report connection. And let's connect with the pivot table 1 also. And same here, right click report connection and connect with the pivot table 1 also. Now if I click, I can see this is the number of student in the economics, history, math as well as I can see number of uh, student female and the male and here we can see the attendance percentage. So that is how we have created and we created the other slicers also. Then we change the slicer style so you can change it from here that is changed or if you want to take your custom style you can take it from here also. This is the style which we have created and to create that you just need to right click and make this duplicate. And then for the whole slicer you can say format and let's say I don't want to take any water so I'll say none and the font I will take 8 or 9 so I have taken 9 fill uh, you don't need to take it just click on ok then we will go to the select item with data format and uh, here uh, we have taken the fill effects so let's take some color uh, as per your theme so I have taken this one darker and one little lighter and then select this variant click on ok for this one we will take the font as white so make sure font is white and make it bold click on ok then unselected item also you can take it is currently uh, this gray or if you want to take this one you can take this one also click on ok now we can apply this from here if, if you select this then automatically that formatting will be applied which you have created all right friends so that is how we have created this dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching